What's up YouTube? It's your boy DJ Kids Pray once again. Finna do another tutorial on Virtual DJ7. Um last one we did was overview. Uh this one we're gonna go over settings. Um first tab we got up is sound setup. Uh sound setup is important if you for anybody that's trying to use external hard drives or external sound cards or mixers or sound or sound uh, or any other items. Okay. Um, you got three sections on here for your sound setup, your inputs, your outputs, and your sound card. Um, your inputs pretty much anything such as your time coding, your inline which is your CD player, um, your microphone, and advanced configurations but we're not going to get into that. Um, your inputs pretty much anything that you're going to input sound in. Okay. Outputs is pretty much everything that's going to be outputted. Um, single source is just sound. Everything's coming out of single source. Um, single source or single output, I recommend if you're just at home trying to practice. Headphones, this is what you would use when you're out at a party or you know showing your skills off. Um, output. I mean headphones. I'm sorry. External mixer, the external mixer and the three line mixer is what you would use if you're using an external mixer like at a club or somewhere that's already got stuff set up okay um, advanced configurations don't concern yourself too much about it um, sound card pretty much everybody has a sound card um, if you don't have any external um, external sound cards or purchasing external heart uh, I'm sorry sound card you want to use simple and then whatever you have um, for those who have sound cards or multiple sound cards um, you want to go to ASIO. Um, you can download this at ASIO.com. Um, I'll put a dis dis uh, link in the description. You can download it. Um, this is for anybody that's using like time coding, uh, multiple inputs, uh, multiple sources, or outputs. Okay. For the tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on simple. <clears throat> simple will be used for people that just want to have that one output. Okay. Um, skins, we got into skins last time, um, it's just a different way Virtual DJ will look. Um, let's do it, I'm going to go ahead and do a three deck one. Notice that it changes in the background, let me move this out the way for you guys. A little bit different, it's got three decks on it. As you can see, one, two, three, mix is different, everything's different. Um, there's different type of skins. There's all types of. Um, I'm gonna go try this one. Here's another one. V V D J. Another one. There's all different types. You can download these at virtualdj.com. Um, you have to register. Um, some things are limited if you are not a registered user. Okay. Um, the other setting here is the mappers. Mappers are what if you, you know, let's say mapping. Uh, best way to explain it is if you don't like the way the keyboard is set up, you can change everything around to the way you like it. Um, me prefer, me preferably for the play button, it's got P. So what I would do is go and change here. I don't like that button. Um, I want to change it to the key that I want to use, spacebar. Bam. Now, when I play it, it's spacebar. Simple. You can change it around or whatever you want. Also on here is where you will hook up any additional MIDI devices, firewall devices, or anything that you want to use such as controllers by like New Market, uh, New Mark, I'm sorry, Pioneer, uh, American Audio, stuff like that. Um, here's your video output. Uh, video output is in the last two versions of Virtual DJ Pro and Pro Basic, if I'm not mistaken. Um, these pretty much allow, you can use it on the other ones too, I'm sorry. Um, this is just Pro and Pro Basic is where you can actually set the video output to an external screen or what you see here, a, a window. Oh, I'm sorry, I disabled it. Let me activate it. As you can see right here, here's your window. So everything will play right here on this window besides where else on the screen. Now you can take this window, move it around. Let's say you got a dual screen or something set up. You can expand this as far as you want, as big as you need it. Um, but keep in detail. Keep in mind that um, the more you mess with it, the the less detail you're going to get out of it. 
the bigger you make, the less detail. Um, chipset. Um, I would always use the chipset or whatever it is to make it go to an external screen for hooking it up to a projector or LCD screen. Um, use hardware acceleration. Always set that on. Um, it makes everything such as the transitions and effects on the video screen work a lot better. Um, different options, video crossfader automatic, crossfader links, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll get more into that. Hide decoder, hide the logo. Let's do hide the logo. So you can't, that's the logo right there, virtual DJ logo. Um, I mostly would turn that off if you were recording and you wanted to show somebody like on some of the, on the YouTube videos. Um, I've got one on there, it's the Drake one. Um, look out for more of those. Um, next one is your options. Pretty much a crossfade pitch range. A lot of stuff you guys are going to have to pretty much mess with to get the hang of. Um, pitch range really is not going to make a difference because you can change that. Always enable your EQ and your headphones. Um, jog wheel, you can switch between vinyl, CD. Um, vinyl, you'll get the scratching effect where if you put your hands on it, it'll stop. Um, CD is where you can nudge it and, you know, kind of pitch blend a lot better. Scrolling, um, you want to leave it at your disc at 45. Security, don't worry about much of this stuff. Uh, auto pitch matching, I always disable mine. Auto gain, you want to put on, uh, you want to put on auto. That way it automatically, every time you put on it, it automatically configures itself. Uh, pitch reset, always do that. EQ reset, pretty much follow the same settings I got here. Unless you, unless you want to do more in more hands-on stuff. Um, internet, this is just for the groups and other stuff, so don't worry about that. Um, I don't, currently right now, I don't have my iPod, iPhone with me or my iPad, but you can enable that to use other devices. Codex, don't worry about that. Performance, here we go. Performance, based on your sound card, I would always set it to auto. Put it in safe mode, and for scratching, I want, I will put on uh, latency. If you got a really old computer, put on latency. If you got a newer one, put on optimized for quality. Um, advanced stretching for master tempo. Depend on what you're gonna do. Um, like if you're doing a lot of pitch, uh, a lot of master tempo where you're mi mixing stuff, or um, you might want to just leave it on advanced stretching. Um, memory. Don't worry about that. Skin size. Just do quality resizing or fast for size depending on what it is. Um, none of this stuff I really don't mess with. Resampling, I usually put on quality just because I want to make sure I got that good quality for myself. Um, browser, this is pretty much how your browser is going to work. Everything, how you want to look for it, history, genre, uh, names of it, and other things. Um, database, every time you do something such as find the BPM or play it a certain amount of times so it goes into your database and it keeps a track of everything that you have from music to how many videos you got, how many karaoke files you got. Um, mine are pretty much on my external hard drive but you always want to clean it up just when you you always want to clean it up or check it to make sure everything that's still on there is still on there and to make sure everything that needs to go away goes away. Database files have been optimized or fixed. So right now my stuff is where it's supposed to be. There's nothing missing. There's nothing extra or duplicated, stuff like that. Um, ID tags, you pretty much fix those on yourself. Um, I'll get more into that later. I really don't use ID tags that much, but just for tutorial, I'll go through it. Um, my last page is to check updates. There's always updates. Once you register, there's always updates. Um, the other one is download plugins. That pretty much all this stuff takes you back to Virtual DJ. Reset the factory uh, settings. The only time I would do that is if I was messing with something, and I really, really messed it up. But in the meantime, I wouldn't be concerned with that. Um, that's pretty much all the settings in there. Um, the next tutorial will be coming up shortly. I'll probably post both of these the same day, but. For right now, that's Virtual DJ settings. Um, I think the next tutorial will probably be on the browser and searching. Look out for the next tutorial. Comment, ask questions. If you got anything, let me know.